Hi guys, how is everybody? Welcome. It's another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. Uh, the sun is trying to peek out, which just makes me happy. Uh, Memorial weekend, right? It's going to be a great, hopefully celebratory weekend for everybody. A good lot while well, celebrating the fact that it's a good long weekend, right? Hopefully you've got some fun plans and um, hi Tammy, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Hi Paulette, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Hope everything's good. Um, yeah, so just talking about this weekend, Memorial Weekend. Sunny, awesome. Okay, so send it north for us, would you please? That's the hope, right? We've got uh, the Highland Festival going on this weekend. So um, that's always, like for me, growing up in Awa, that was always such a big, fun thing. Um, it's basically a Scottish Highland Festival all weekend long. So there are bagpipes playing. All, you'll hear them all around, um, especially over at the college campus. And then um, there's a parade and a road race and then Highland dancing too, which I know Sharon, who is a part of our Inspired Stampers group. Hi, Philomena. How are you doing? Um, I think Sharon's granddaughter has been doing lots of Highland dancing like all over the place. Hi Louise! So I bet Sharon will be watching her granddaughter do some Highland dancing this weekend and then other like uh, like big burly man games where they like toss like a telephone pole kind of a <laughs> that's the one I always remember it's like the caber toss um, so anyway lots of fun and then there's like live music at the entertainment tent so it's like the fun the fun weekend here in Alma and hopefully kicks off the summer right um, so the weather's gonna be a little iffy but I'm hoping you know um, Every day is supposed to be a little weird, and then they've turned out to be pretty uh, good days. So hopefully uh, this weekend will happen that same way. So uh, yeah, let's see what else is going on. Um, Kate is playing basketball this weekend too, so that kind of throws a monkey wrench into the like festival going plans. But So we'll be back and forth some to catch some basketball and enjoy the weekend. And uh, yeah, so um, what do I want to tell you guys about... Um, Let's see, we had a great, uh, I didn't even bring, yeah, we're not gonna, I was thinking, do I? I'm really struggling with the this time of year right now because we're like a little over a week before we can order out of the new catalog and I've been playing with so much stuff from the new catalog but I'm like, there's really no reason to show you guys. Hi Karen, how are you? Because you can't get it quite yet. If you're a demonstrator, then obviously you can order. Um, but if you're a customer, you can't order until June 4th. So I'm going to give you some little sneak peeks. So that's why I was kind of like, should I show them or not? I'm, so I'm just holding off because there's still so much good stuff from our current catalogs. Like, why not use that and play with that? Because you guys can still get it, right? So um, with that being said, um, I should mention that today is the last day to RSVP for my... Um, most recent class to go. This is the classic garage class to go. So I'm going to try to show you. You'd make two of each of these projects um, in that class to go. So they feature the classic garage designer series paper, which is already sold out, but I have enough. So fear not if you uh, want to get a to-go kit. I can definitely get you all the parts and pieces that you need to make those four cards. It also features, this is that itty bitty greeting stamp set, which is carrying over. It's an awesome stamp set, 32 stamps in the set. So if I've used a sentiment on my card, like if you don't need a world's best father or a happy retirement, there are 32 sentiments in the stamp set. So you can use whichever one you need on your cards. Um, oh, and then actually, what else? You get um, a bolt of the black and silver metallic striped ribbon and a full package of the faceted dots because I used a bunch of the black dots. And then you'll have the other colors uh, left over that you can use for other projects. So um, the link is on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and I'm sure I've posted it. <laughs> I, I scheduled those earlier in the week. So I'm sure that I remembered to post today's the last day that you can order. So it might even already be on our Facebook page or on the Facebook group, either one. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I remember to do that. If you get option number one, two, you actually get a free package of dimensionals with your to-go kit. So let me know if you guys are interested. I would love to get one of those to-go kits sent out to you. Awesome masculine cards. I'm always saying we never have enough masculine cards. So this would get you eight cards made. Plus then you'd have ideas to make lots more um, with whatever product you have at home too. So, and you get the PDF tutorial also that tells you step-by-step step how to put everything together. And then 
the dimensions and colors and everything. So if you want to duplicate them, um, it's really quick and easy to do that. So, and the PDF tutorial is always available, even after today. Um, today's the deadline for the to-go kits. Um, so I can make sure to get everything ordered. Um, but you can always get the PDF well after uh, the RSVP deadline. It's always available. I just email that out to you. So yeah, so let me know if you would like one of those itty bitty greetings classic garage class to go kits. Okay. Um, oh, and then today is also today is today is May 24th. It is the last day that Stampin' Up! is guaranteeing that any of the last chance stamp sets Will be available so if you've been wavering wondering not sure today's the day make sure you put your order in today to get your stamp sets so tomorrow everything is on that while supplies last basis hey shannon how are you doing um so then we've got from tomorrow until june 3rd that you can still order out of the annual catalog and the occasions catalog the um, current catalogs that we have right now um after that, anything that's on those last chance lists, you're not going to be able to get starting on June 4th. Love the new catalog with lots of fun new stuff, um, but make sure you get what you would like, right, before it retires on June 3rd, okay? Um, all right, I think we are going to jump right in. I've got to mm, just do a quick perusal here and make sure that I have told you guys everything I wanted to Oh, actually, so I've got this other fun um, card that came to me. Super simple. This is one of our Whisper White note cards. And it, can you see it just says celebrate you on it? Um, and then it's kind of in gold, the you, because um, this is actually a card that I received from our regions, our Great Lakes region demonstrator development manager from Stampin' Up. Her name is Shannon West and she's awesome. And she says, hi, Amy. And now for your official woohoo for advancing to gold. Uh, so proud of you, my friend. Way to go and keep it up. Love, Shannon. So I thought that was very sweet. Um, this happened, our promotion um, happened back in March when my downline Nancy Gulick promoted to Silver Elite. That helped me promote to gold. So I thought that was just really cute and just kind of a fun, like I said, it looks gold, right? With the, Can you guys see? I'm trying to get that in there really well. Yeah, so I love like the watercolor there too. I think she probably watercolored the paper and then die cut the celebrate and then the U. I would say that looks like that is in um, crushed curry, which is probably our closest gold color that we have. So that was very cool to receive that card from her. It's always fun to get the little pat on the back hard, uh, for working hard, right? Um, that congratulations is always appreciated. So, um, okay, I think we are ready. Let's do our drawing. What are we drawing for? So this is the Very Vanilla Lace Ribbon. Can you guys, oh, I had a little strip of it too. I brought that over the other day and I don't know where it is now. I, I saw it in there, but you guys, this is, we're gonna get a glare today, aren't we? It's a little like bright white out there. It's not sunny, but can you guys, anyway, it's, the, it's really pretty lace, vanilla, like a very vanilla lace ribbon so your name went in here if you commented or shared or tagged a friend to say hey come check out um, Amy's Facebook live or what else if you signed up for my email list and then the random draw day was Tuesday last week uh, well this past Tuesday so if you posted a project you made or commented or shared um, any of the posts I did on Tuesday your name is in here three times so lots of entries hey Vina how are you doing so I'm gonna shake these around and we are going to draw here for our winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner is one name in my hand. Yes. Oh my gosh. Miss Angeline Apsey. Oh, this is, where is, I can't even like, there's nowhere for me to be. I wonder how bad um, there. Can you, I don't know. You probably can't even see it. I'm already worried when I put my camera down how much of a glare there's going to be. Um, oh, and Lily's home. She had a meeting. She, oh, you guys, I have to tell you this too. This is kind of cute. She is, this is the end of her freshman year in high school, and she ran for student council um, 
<laughs> and so she um, actually is the co-president. She and another friend, Lauren, are the co-presidents of what will be next year's sophomore class. So they just had a meeting because they're actually off of school today, but she had a meeting to go to from nine until noon. I guess it got out a little bit early. So anyway, she's home from that. And I bet she wants to come like wave and say hello. Doesn't she, Lily? <laughs> hi, kiddo. How are you? So in a moment, she's going to come wave and say hi to you guys. Um, so yeah, but back to Angeline is the winner. And this is so fun because her name actually, hey, Sunday, how are you doing? Um, she put in an online order. She was one of the orders last week. And so last week she was a winner, 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 chicken dinner last week too. So now she's going to get this bolt of the Very Vanilla Lace Trim. So how's it going, Lil? The meeting was good? Sure. Sure. Yeah, you know, a two and a half hour meeting is always fun, right? <laughs> All right, she'll tell me about it later. We, we won't do that right now, so. Okay. All right, oh, come say hi. Wait, wait you're not even gonna... <laughs> oh, all right. Thanks, Lil. Okay, that's all we get. That's all we get. She's gonna go hide in her room until I'm done with Facebook Live so I don't ask her to come out and uh, say hello again. Okay. So let's see. Oh, this week, you guys want to know what we're going to give away this week? And this is kind of funny. I didn't even do this. Um, it came to me like this. But this week, we're going to give away. And I say I didn't even do that because look at, like, there's a little plastic around the ribbon. But there's that little strip that's hanging out, which is kind of good when you want to show people what we're looking at. So this is some of the Call Me Clover. This is the, I think it's like an eighth inch wide, the grow grain ribbon. So this is one of our in colors that's carrying over for another year. So we've got um, this ribbon and, and a lot of times this ribbon retires and they didn't do that this year. They changed things up, which they're always keeping us on our toes. So normally um, all of the in color ribbon from like last year that just came out, um, retires and then they do something new, but this year they didn't do that. So this is gonna carry over. So you can get any of this grow green ribbon in last year's five in colors. So Call Me Clover, Pineapple Punch, Blueberry Bushel, Lovely Lipstick, and Grapefruit Grove. You saw my eyes like, oh, I'm trying to like make sure I remember all the names. Um, yeah, so, and then don't don't even like, we're not even talking about the um, colors that are retiring because a lot of stuff is already sold out from those in colors so move along have loved those in colors but we're going to have some fabulous new colors coming up that i am going to share a sneak peek of that for you um because i just can't not show you some new stuff right so okay so this is what we're going to draw for next week so make sure you comment and share facebook live and then my new thing tag a friend find somebody think of somebody that you're like oh they would love to watch this facebook live too they love to paper craft um tag them and tell them to come hang out with us um, if you do that then your name goes in the drawing three times if you tag a friend too so yeah and those that's good comments shares and tags all the way through next Thursday your name will go in that drawing to win this um, awesome I love this is just um, perfect simple ribbon to play with and I love this green too it's like a kind of looks like um I don't know shamrock green doesn't it like it's a um, why am I totally leprechaun? What's that? St. Patrick's Day. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day green. That's what it is. So, okay. Um, all right, we are going to do our other drawing. Did I bring that over here? Oh, I did. It's covered up. Okay, so next, this drawing is for anybody that put in an online order of at least $30 last week. They automatically get the projects that I demonstrated last week, and their name went in the drawing to win. This is the new Free as a Bird stamp set. This is an awesome set. I've played with it a little bit. I've got some fun plans and ideas of more things that we're going to do with that stamp set. So, um, all right, not quite as many. I always laugh like no not quite as many entries in here oops actually did I yeah I've got to make sure <laughs> yeah there was an extra one in there I'm like there are only a couple names in here and it looked like there were more than there should be so okay so tossing this around and let's see I have yep I have one in my hand all right Miss Rosemary Mason she's been an online ordering fool and you guys cannot I cannot get that there's that there oh maybe that's what I have to do over there there, there we go. Rosemary is the winner. So Rosemary, I will have the Ma Rosemary. I will have the stamp set for you. Hey, Sandra, how are you doing? Good morning to you. Happy Memorial Weekend, beginning of it, right? 
Okay, um, so, okay, this was the other thing I wanted to show you guys. So what I've decided, I'm like, oh, trying to decide what I'm gonna give away this week, and I've decided I'm doing something different this week only, might throw it in every once in a while. Um, but I am gonna give a two yard sampler of our new in color ribbon. Hey, Nikki, good morning, how are you? Out in Salt Lake City area, right? Um, Okay, so any online order of at least $30 is going to get, and I'm trying to, this is all, it actually kind of all comes apart, but it's really pretty when it comes apart too. So these are all of our new in colors. Can you guys see that one is like covering up the other? Oh, it was all so neat, and then it kind of went wonky on me. Okay, I think, can you guys see? So these are the new in colors. So we have Rococo Rose Seaside Spray, I think it's purple posy. I'm trying to remember something posy. Um, terracotta tile and pretty peacock. So every single online order between now and next Wednesday is going to get a two yard sampler of all five of our new in color ribbons. So isn't that awesome? So there's not even going to be a drawing next week. I'm just going to um, get everybody who puts an online order in. You're all going to get a two yard sampler. So you guys can kind of see. Um, I'll, I'll hold one up. Let's see. This Rococo Rose is very pretty. So it's kind of a, what do they call this ribbon? They are calling it a scalloped linen ribbon. And it's because, so, and actually I didn't even think about that yet, but can you guys see, you could just use, this is kind of like a crumb cake or Sahara sand color linen, right? Just a nice simple kind of a khaki linen on the back side and then on the front they put that little scallop border edge so you guys have to see these up close so that's the rococo rose this one is the seaside spray oh get that in the right light and there's no good light oh my goodness there can you guys kind of see this is just a really it's kind of a really pretty blue gray almost real pale bluey gray and then this one is the, oh my gosh, I love this ribbon too. And it's really nice and substantial. Um, this one is the Pretty Peacock, right? Is that what I'm, yep. You know, it's always hard in the beginning to remember all these names. Um, Pretty Peacock. I, this is, um, I totally miss and loved um, Tranquil Tide. And so this is, it's a little more green than that one was a little more blue, but I feel like this is kind of gonna help me replace my missing tranquil tide this one is the terracotta tile uh there we go that pretty kind of burnt orange color terracotta and then the last one i'm going to look at this name on here so i i'm calling it yeah it is purple posy hey rosemary how are you doing um you just won the free as a bird stamp set too just so you know <laughs> i'll have that for you down at the studio okay so yeah actually you can see it better like that can't you maybe on the bolt. This is the perf, purple posy. I keep wanting to call it purple or uh, perfect. Purple posy. Purple posy. I've got to remember that. Purple. I'm going to call it perfect posy all the time. You guys will know what I'm talking about though, right? So this is just a really pretty kind of a pale. Oh, where's the good light? Sorry. I'm going to, yeah, I need to just stop complaining about that. Anyway, it's just really pretty pale purple. So these are just a really fun set of new in colors i'm sure you guys have seen these posted around online but they they look awesome together and they're going to work so beautifully with so many of our other core colors that we have too so two yards of all of this ribbon for every single online order of at least thirty dollars you're going to get the projects we're going to demonstrate in just a few minutes and two yards of the ribbon and you're welcome rosemary okay so let me get this stuff scooted out of the way um okay yeah, oh, don't forget too, the Everything is Rosie product medley. Yeah, I just looked, I looked this morning. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, when did I look last? Yeah, so it's still available. The Everything is Rosie product medley, I was so worried it was gonna sell out. So as of like earlier this morning, it's still available. So if you're thinking about getting that, you're gonna get three projects from me when you order online the Everything is Rosie product medley, okay? Um, I will send you those projects. Um, that uh, Yeah, so lots of good, th that is such an awesome, I keep wanting to call it a sweet, but an awesome product medley. So many quick, simple things that you can do, or you can totally step it up too, because they've got all those fun dyes um, that you can just kind of add lots of layers and detail too. But you, you know, you can keep it simple, you can step it up, 
good for all different levels of crafters. So love that product medley, but it is gonna be done. So next Friday, I'll be telling you today is the last day and hopefully it will still be available then. But just in case, if you have, if you've been on the fence, I would just go ahead and order it. You're gonna love it, I promise. Plus then you get three projects from me as a thank you. And then obviously you're gonna get that two yards of each of those in color ribbons. Plus you're gonna get the projects I'm gonna demonstrate today. And since your order's over $50, you always get a free embellishment. I'm gonna show you guys that now. I don't even know, I went and had it in my notes, but I'm gonna show you right now. I might show you again, because I don't know how well it's gonna um, come, uh, you're gonna be able to see. But my free embellishment with every $50 online order in the month of May is, these are called, oh, I wish I had my glasses, the Flower Faceted Gems. So these are a super cute, they're kind of a metal almost, but can you see the like really pretty glistening flower? Um, I'm not even sure I can tell you the colors. They coordinate with the bird ballad, bird ballad or ballard, I can't remember um, what's the actual name of, what the name of, actual name of that is, sorry. I get so tongue tied. Um, anyway, I'm gonna show you these again because I think you'll be able to see them better when I when I move the camera down. But every single online order for at least $50 is gonna get one of these fun little packages of embellishments. They're kind of like a, a yellow, maybe a pool party, and hmm, maybe Calypso Coral, maybe the new Terracotta Tile, kind of an orange, kind of a yellow, pale blue, and an orange, I guess I would say. Pinky orange, maybe. Super pretty, like little flowery kind of thing, so awesome. So I just wanted you guys to know that. Oh, and the other th reason why I'm telling you this is because I could literally order one package of these in the demonstrator pre-order, that's it. So I haven't even broken into them yet because I just think they're so cute. Um, so on June 4th, when the new catalog goes live, I'll be able to order everybody. So as many online orders as I have in May, I'll order that many packages of these flower faceted gems. They're gonna get to me like mid-June and then I'll be sending them out to you. So just don't worry. Um, I did decide, you know, if you win the projects and the other um, winning that I'm doing, I'm sending all that stuff out right away because I just can't wait until for like a month to send you guys everything, right? So then later, mid-June, I'll send these separately to you. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, lots of good stuff when you guys order online, right? If you're new, especially if you're new to Facebook Live and don't understand, I'll show you at the end everything that you get with an online order. Lots and lots of good stuff, especially this week. So, um, okay, I think we are ready. I've got all these, <laughs> I like make myself all kinds of notes. Um, yeah, it's kind of like sad and crazy how many notes I have to write myself because I can't remember anything anymore. So, okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna turn your heads away right so I can flip the camera down and we will get to do some stamping okay bear with me just a sec as we fly through the air over to the other side here okay let's see put that down okay so here just that quick reminder with your minimum $30 online order by next Wednesday you're going to get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate and your name, it's not even name in the drawing this time. You're automatically gonna get two yards of the new ribbon. Make sure you used host code UMM7H63Q. And if you bump your order up to $50, you are gonna get the free embellishments. Let's see if we can show you guys these a little bit. Yeah, that's gonna work better, isn't it? A little bit of a glare there, but the flower faceted gems, super duper cute. And they're even better like in real life. They're not as like sparkly shiny in this for whatever reason. Hey Kylie, how are you? How's the baby? Oh, so cute. I haven't seen them in a while though. I would see you at basketball games and that's not happening anymore. So hopefully everybody's good. Um, but yeah, so these are super duper cute. You're gonna love these free with a $50 order all month long. So you've got until March 31st to put that online order in and get those with your $50 order. Just make sure to use that host code, okay guys? Um, okay. Oh, the other thing I have to tell you guys, do you remember last week when I was making that um, bird stamp or bird card and I stamped like just on a, I was honestly like just a plastic, clear plastic cover and then put the paper down onto it to kind of get the reverse image of, I wish I would have brought that over. I should have. 
Well, it'd almost be like using Rose Marie's new stamp set if we wanted the birdies to be facing each other. So ink this stamp up, and last week I just put it on a plastic cover. Well, now I've learned you can use your silicone craft sheet that this works really well too. So if you want the birdie instead of facing this way, if you want them facing this way, ink your stamp up, stamp it on your silicone craft sheet, put your paper down on it and then just press. Don't wiggle or rub around or anything or it'll be super smeary, obviously. And then when you lift it up, you'll have a birdie that's facing this way instead of this way. So I just, it was funny. It was like right after I did it, um, just I just grabbed whatever I could think of. Then later I read somewhere, oh yeah, you should use your silicone craft sheet. So I just wanted to make sure you guys know that, right? So any of these images, if you wanted that leaf to be kind of going that way, you could stamp that, put it on here, put your paper down, and then your leaf would kind of be going that way too. So I love that idea very simple and easy and it, I didn't realize I thought it was gonna be a lot more complicated which I don't tend to like I'm not drawn to complicated things so I didn't think I could do it <laughs> okay so let's see um all right I just I have to just make sure I feel like I've missed something so let me just look at these notes one more time but I think we are good let's see yep yep okay all right, I guess I did talk about everything. I've got, and my problem is I made other notes. There's like one sheet of notes and then a couple of little sheets. The little sheets are what are throwing me. So, <laughs> sorry. I'm like, I just, I don't want to forget anything. Okay, so yeah, let's, um here, let me get some. We're going to get our grid paper out so we can do our stamping. I'll keep that so you guys can still see that host code and the host code is always on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com so just know that if you um, can't find this video or you know didn't write it down somewhere you can always grab it from there too okay so let's see what are we doing today we are making so this is um in my effort to keep using my favorite designer series papers this is that how sweet it is designer series paper, the kind of candy you see, like these are the little, <laughs> they're like little gummy bears on the other side. So that's the stripe on one side and then the gummy bears. So it's, this is from the occasions catalog that how sweet it is designer series paper. So that piece is gonna go right there. Hey, Sherilyn, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're feeling well. Um, okay, so let me show you what else. Oh, okay, so we're gonna use, this is the thank you thinlet and we're just gonna use the U. So there's, the, there's a thank above it and then the you so we've got you are the best and that stamp set is or stamp is from a big thank you so we are going to use this you are the best but we're going to kind of mask off the you because we want to use the big you on there right and then i had to use one last time oh you're welcome Sherilyn, for the card yeah hopefully um i know you're i think you're doing a walk or a race maybe, right? And so hopefully that goes well. Oh, it says my connection is weak. Sorry guys, if it's kind of blanking out a little bit. So um, was there anything else I wanted to tell you guys? Well, I love this stamp set. This is one, so this is bundled and I think it still is bundled with this thank you thinlet right here. So it's just this one die, the thank you, and then the a big thank you stamp set. Um, and love the the font again that cursive we've got heartfelt gratitude let me come a little bit closer there grateful every day for you this one's tiny right your lovely wishes brought a smile to my day and there's probably thank you for the gift or thank you so much right and I love all of these the little scrolly things there's that guy there and these here that can probably get layered right inside there. That one can go inside there. A cute little teeny tiny baby heart. Um, it is going wonky, yes. Hopefully it's okay now, Louise. I, my little, um, there was like a little, um, I don't know, whatever, little message that popped up that said the, the 
the connection was weak, but that has gone away. So hopefully it's all right now. So um, there's a friend stamp. Friends are flowers in the garden of life. That's sweet, right? Teeny tiny little hello. And then ever so grateful. And you could say a big thank you with that one right there. And then this is the one we're using, the you are the best. So this, a big thank you stamp set is carrying over. Um, but I, like I said, I, I have to look in the catalog. I can't remember for sure, but I believe it's bundled right now with the thank you thinlets. That will go away. They'll, you'll be able to order the stamp set and the thinlets separately, but you won't be able to get the bundle price any longer. So make sure um, if this is something that you think you, oh good, I'm glad it's better now, Louise. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I've I, As I've been, the past couple of Fridays as I've started my Facebook Live, it's like not wanted to start and you know, I don't know. I live right in town. I have the same connection I've always had. I've not, you know, done anything. So I don't know why it gets weak sometimes. But okay, so I think we are ready. How about let me tell you about dimensions and then we'll do our stamping and put our fun project together here. So, okay, this is Coastal Cabana cardstock. Okay, right, we've got our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. We cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half, right there. And then along the um, eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches to make our nice crisp fold on our card as usual, right? Then I have a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock. That This one measures three and a half by four and a half inches. And then our whisper white layer that goes over top is just um, a quarter of an inch smaller. So it's three and one quarter by four and one quarter inches. And then I've got my little strip of designer series paper that measures one and a quarter by five and a quarter inches. So those are all the measurements you need. I just have a scrap piece of, this is a Melon Mambo cardstock and a backup piece just in case. Um, which I should not be needing, um, but just a um, piece of Melon Mambo cardstock to die cut the U right there, okay? Um, so let's see. Let's die cut the U first and then we'll do our stamping. How about that? So the thank you thin lips die. We're just going to pull this baby out right here. And I'm going to grab the big shot. Okay. That right there. Okay. Oh. I mean, my die cutting machine. <laughs> and so you just need to get the U, but what I did not think of the first time I did it was I had my this way up here and I didn't get that little swirl like I wanted to. So you do need to kind of get some of the bottom of the T and the H in there so that you can get that little swirl curl. And same thing, it's less of a problem on the other end with the K. Okay, so bear with me a sec. I'm sure it's gonna be a little bit wiggly. I have to go back and forth a few times. I did bring my Big Shot die brush, so I think we should be good. Okay, I think we're all done with the wiggling. Ooh, look at that. See how that popped right out? Okay, I'm gonna just scoot this guy out of the way. And let's grab our die brush just Just for kicks, right? Okay, so it's kind of lifted. There we go, that's all we need to do. So you see how that pops out? And then we're gonna cut off all of that extra that we don't need. We're gonna get rid of this guy. I will need that, and I need a sip of water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now Oh, I'm like, where are my glasses? I really do need them now. We are just gonna snip off the extra that we don't need. So we're gonna get that. And sometimes this gets in my way, so I'm just cutting all of that off so that I can just kind of snip right there. We're just gonna snip that one. This is very easy. And then you're just trying to kind of follow. Can you guys see? Just trying to follow the curve that's on the little swirls here. So we're just gonna snip that baby off. And there, move it right there, you guys can see there's my U, right? So I'm gonna use my silicone craft sheet to put adhesive on that when it's time to do that. I'm gonna move those little bits over there. Okay, now let's grab our stamps and our ink. 
so let's see i need my white piece okay so 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 right ladies i have these little teeny tiny strips of um stickies that we're gonna use so i'm gonna open up i've got my coastal cabana ink and i'm just gonna grab one of these little stickies and I just want to kind of mask off as much as I can. What I found was there was no way to get the bottom of the Y right there. It, it's just going to show up, but we're going to cover it. And I'll show you what I mean by that. We're going to cover it with our U. So do you see I'm inking it up with that on there? And then I'm just going to peel that off so I don't have any of that ink. And we are going to put that maybe right about there. And I'm going to press firmly. So this is what I was talking about. The bottom of the Y right there, we're going to cover that up with our U. We're going to get that on there just right so you won't even know that that little bit is there. Okay? So that's all we need for that one. We're going to grab our Melon Mambo ink and our cute little teeny weeny baby baby heart. We're going to put him right there. And then just add a couple of fun little flowers. I'm going to use Blushing Bride ink for this one. You guys are quiet today. Everybody's doing all right? I'm going to grab this little scrap piece of paper because I want these to kind of be off the edge a little bit. And then I don't get any ink <laughs> on my pristine um Grid paper here. Okay. Oh, plus I want to stamp off too. So I'm going to ink that up. I'm going to stamp off on my scrap paper. And, and what I have found is for me, it's really helpful to use this pointer finger to kind of help guide my stamp down to where I want it. So that just filled in a little bit. Um, this is a pretty pale pink color. Here we go. Yeah. So we just add a little shading in kind of behind our flower there. So that's our stamping. Oops, that's all we're gonna do there. So you see those cute little flowers. Um, so those, we used these two stamps right here and then these would be the same idea. I would stamp that off before I, you know, so that this outline is darker and then that just kind of shades things in. But really cute, just cute, dainty. Something about, I like, I like all of that, you know? <laughs> okay, so we don't need those anymore. Okay, I think we are. Are we ready to put things together? I think so. All right, so we are going to adhere our Whisper White piece to, this is my Bermuda Bay piece. We're gonna do this first. Okay, now we're gonna grab our silicone craft sheet and I just wanna put a little bit, and I'm just kind of flicking this. I guess I would say I'm not like running fully because I just kind of want to get little bits of adhesive on there. And that silicone craft sheet kind of saves my, um, so this, my, my uh, grid paper doesn't get all sticky. The other thing I'm realizing I need to get that guy underneath there too. So we are gonna do that. I'm actually gonna put it right on here. I'm gonna put my adhesive, because this is just kind of floating. Um, along the top and the bottom. So we're just gonna put that maybe right about there and then I can press firmly to get that down, right? Okay, so that's good. Then I actually, uh, I think I can, yeah, I can put my dimensionals and then we'll tie our ribbon. That's what I think I um, started to say. I got, you know, sidetracked like a squirrel ran by or something, right? And um, I forgot to mention my ribbon. Oh, where is, here it is right here. The lovely lipstick. And this is kind of, this is interesting. Um, I thought it worked really, really well though. So this is lovely lipstick and then this cardstock and this color really is Melon Mambo. But with those shades right there, I really thought it worked really, really well together. So I was excited because this is a ribbon that is retiring um, and I love it. it. You know, it was kind of in the Valentine suite, if you will. Um, but I think it looks great on this. You are the best card as well. So I like to tie my bows upside down. Somehow I think that makes the tails go the right way for me. So I tend to do this. So we're gonna put that guy right there. Do I have enough? And this is why I always keep it on the bolt, um, especially, right? So we're gonna just pull that 
And that one right there, just tighten those guys up. Yeah, so my little thingies are too long. <laughs> okay. And sometimes I have to play with it a little bit, but it'll get there, won't it? All right, I gotta try it again. Some sometimes it gets too curled up. Maybe that's the problem. If we do it like, if we do it like that, maybe maybe we'll go sideways. Let's see if we um, tie a sideways bow. If that helps, kind of keep that piece down there too. Okay, so we've got that one there. And we've got that one there. That is gonna do it. Okay, I'm liking that much better. Sorry, bear with me. You know, well, I love my bows and people think, oh, um, you know, they're so easy for you. And they're not, it's not that they're easy or not easy. I just take a little bit of time to, to make them right, I guess. You know, just play with them a little bit to get things kind of going the way you want to. Okay, yeah, that looks good. All right, so now we are just going to take, um, and I loved kind of popping this whole thing up on the card front. This is a kind of a different, I haven't done this layout before. Um, and I, I am still amazed that you can kind of come up with or see um, ideas, you know, on Pinterest. I, I found something kind of similar and then just modified it a little bit, but I love, like I said, popping that up off of the card there, the whole thing. So what do you guys think? I know, Felomina, I love that ribbon too. The little stitched edge there too. Lovely lipstick with that stitched edge ribbon. So you are the best. How about that? And then those cute little flowers just peeking out behind there too. So that's my first project. So if you put your online order, you're going to get one of these cards with your at least your $30 online order. You're going to get one of these You Are the Best cards. And then let me show you. Um, bear with me one sec though. I got to, let's get this stuff out of the way here. Okay. So, you know, otherwise I'm very easily confused. And you don't, you don't want to see that, right? Okay, I think we got all of those. Wrap our stamps up. That thin lit is somewhere. Okay, we're good. All right. Scoop these babies out of the way. Um, oh, okay. So, all right, actually, before I show you guys um, this next project, well, let me show you. Um, yeah, all right, I'll show it to you. <laughs> just can't decide okay so this next one I've got all these little bits here is using this is my wood words stamp set oh it is good for graduation you're right Phil I mean I didn't even think about that yeah that would be an awesome graduation card just in time too yeah so this stamp set is retiring this is one of those that when it came out a couple years ago I totally fell in love with it it's been our product of the week this week because I love that kind of weathered look of all of those stamps then you've got hello friend fresh treats a note for you there's the cute little thank you thanks a bunch for you welcome and then a fun little farmers market along with those little fun stars and this beautiful floral image I've used that so much. And then the fun um, uh, circle there too, the polka dot. Um, so lots of really awesome images. And then there is a set of framelits and I totally blanked out and forgot to bring that over, but they're the wood crate framelits. And I'm gonna show you guys, actually let's scoot this little bin out of the way just a little bit. And I have to show you the other projects that you can make. Um, with so with the stamp set and then the wood crate framelits i have so many of these on display down at the studio and i stopped and grabbed them um, this morning so okay this is one of the wood crates using the wood grain paper that i believe is already sold out so you could actually make this wood grain look we have a wood grain stamp and an embossing folder so you could do something fun with either of those to kind of make that wood grain but this this little crate was so popular and then that that look at the cute little for you stamp with some of the copper ribbon which i believe that is carrying over and then just some really simple little note cards the three by three note cards fit perfectly inside there they this one says a note for you and uses the little rooster there's the thank you um, and uses some of our linen thread also and then we've got a hello friend with that cute little heart right so that's one idea make those little three by three cards and put them in that um, little crate. Then my friend Sunday, who may still be watching, made this fun little treat. And I, I'm like kind of now realizing I never ate those Hershey Kisses in there. How have I, 
How have how has that happened with the fun this little hogs and kisses that cute little piggy guy and he is carrying over also but you can put fun little treats inside of that wood crate framelit right and then actually I made some more because I love <laughs> I love these little crates so they this is stamped with hello friend on it and then again three by three note cards along with the envelopes fit perfectly right inside there so I have to show you guys these too because I loved this is some of that copper so this ribbon that's tied around there that copper ribbon if you cut through kind of the inside of it you can pull it apart and it makes like this little meshy um, I saw a card, like a fish-themed card, and this was almost, they, they pulled that apart like that and used it like a net. Um, and then the fun uh, moon, is that backwards? I don't know, I can't, no, it's not backwards. Okay, then the rooster, this one's pulled apart even more with that copper trim back there, right? And then the heart, and then the star with those little um, guys pulled apart. So uh, I made a bunch of these and actually have them for sale down at the studio. So these cute little crates with the note cards and envelopes in the fun little package. So it's a great um, little gift idea if anybody needs a gift for somebody. I have those for sale down at the studio. So, okay. So with that all being said, do you guys want to see the card that we are making today? here okay so it features some new product too i i was like i gotta show a little bit of new stuff so this is my favorite new in color this is the pretty peacock in color along with the pretty peacock cardstock and our pretty peacock scallop edged linen ribbon and then the rooster he's like the star of the show i love that little guy um next to the moon right so yeah it is cute a good gift isn't it Philomena and I do have to tell you this was not my original design I'm going to show you this is um, the card that I cased it from obviously very similar right but this one was made a couple of years ago when the stamp set first came out using one of our brand new colors at the time the in color fresh fig along with the fresh fig um, designer series paper that's not even available that was some of my favorite paper too I remember that and then I love that ribbon with the little gold stitching through there that has since retired so love the layout of this but not a lot of the product because you can't get much of it anymore but you can see how fun it is to do um, with some new updated product too so I have to show you guys that is like I said the um, uh, in color designer series paper and actually all of the designer series paper for the brights, regals, subtles, neutrals, and then both of the in colors is gonna have these patterns. Let me show you those actually. So let's get these guys pulled out here. Uh, but I'm gonna show you all of the patterns in our new in colors too. Okay, I've got my little strip there, we don't need that one. Okay, um, and just so you guys know, this is how I keep my paper, like whatever package it comes in, I just keep it right in here and then my scraps, so I just have one right now. I just put those at the front of it and then all my full pieces go back behind. Um, I find that works the best for me to keep everything all together. I know some people like to put scraps like in a separate area, but I found I was never ever using them if I just kind of dumped them all in one tub. So even, you know, my real red cardstock, I've got another um, kind of plastic um, sleeve from the cardstock that I keep all of my smaller pieces into. And I don't keep everything, but, um, you know enough anything that I think I might use again so but I keep them all together by color or by designer series paper pack so I feel like that's upside down I don't even know what this says it probably doesn't even matter but there's a pretty cursive writing on one side with this Rococo rose so I think you get four sheets and then on the back side here's that the I don't know is it kind of a mosaic pattern I would say and then some more of our uh, check right gingham gingham check and then kind of some diamonds i guess i would say dime right is that what they are diamonds right so that's the rococo rose and then you've got this is the seaside spray with those pattern oops i didn't do that quite right did i that's all the same so yeah there we go then our rococo rose okay then i have the terracotta tile again in the two patterns there we go. Yep. So we've got Rococo or uh, terracotta tile chicken wire. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You're right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, chicken wire as we're thinking about our roosters, right? And then this one is my pretty peacock again with the cursive and the gingham. 
and then our chicken wire and our diamonds, right? <laughs> and then one more. This is the seaside spray. You guys get a little bit better. This color is so much prettier in person. It looks really kind of washed out in this lighting anyway, but it's beautiful. Just a really pretty soft, super pale purple there. So those are the new in colors that you can start ordering on June 4th. Or if you're a demonstrator, you can order right now. Or if you get the starter kit, you can order new stuff in your starter kit too. If you just can't stand to wait another moment, which that's always one of the best perks of being a demonstrator is you always get to order everything before everybody else does. So I also want to tell you guys, before I jump into actually making this card, I'm doing an in color club. And I'm just gonna bring this sheet right over here so I don't miss anything to tell you guys about. Um, but if you're interested in getting all of our new in colors, right, I'll show you the ribbon again too. So if you want to get all the product in all of our new in colors, you might want to consider doing my in color club. So it's a five month club and it requires five members Per club so for each group of five people that I get I'll start ordering um, and this is what you get each month in say one color so one month you're gonna get this is seaside spray so you're gonna get everything in seaside spray and everything means a full pack of eight and a half by eleven cardstock the ink pad the refill a full ten yard bolt of our half inch scalloped linen ribbon you're gonna get the marker, the stamp and write marker, and the two blends markers. We have blends in all colors except uh, the terracotta tile. So all the other colors, you'll get the two blends. The month that you would get terracotta tile, just let me know what other color of blends you would like and I'll get those ordered for you and in your package. Then you also get uh, the In Color Designer Series paper. So say if Rococo Rose is your color for the month, you're gonna get um, eight sheets of the Designer Series paper in the Rococo Rose, okay? So it's $49 per month for five months and then one month you are the host. This is a product-based club, so there's no class or other projects associated with it. But the best part is you are the host and get $20 in free product one month. And I'm also going to throw in, and I forgot to bring those over, but there's a package of the in-color embellishments. They're kind of like a, um, I think they're a faceted gem. They're called in each of our five in colors again so you'll get twenty dollars in free product you let me know whatever you want and then you get the in color embellishments and if you're long distance these kits will ship each month it'll be eight dollars for the priority mail shipping to get it sent to you so you if you're local you can sign up for the in color club or if you're long distance you can still sign up too so let me know i can send you the link with more info on how to get signed up for in color club okay um let's see all right i think we are ready to stamp our next project. And I think, so I brought this whole little bin over here. Um, okay, let me get my things out here. And I don't need, I brought all this ribbon because I couldn't, I'm like loving that ribbon. So let's get our stamps and our ink pads out, all right? And so this one doesn't use the big shot either. It's all pinching, which is lovely sometimes, okay? All right, how's everybody doing? Hi, Jessica, how are you? All right, let's see what we got going here. So here, this is the card that we're gonna make in case you've forgotten already, and I'm not gonna forget, right? Okay, so we have a piece of, this is Sahara Sand cardstock, our card base, okay? Um, oh, all right, Philomena, I will send you info on the In Color Club. I can absolutely do that. Okay. So we start with, this is, like I said, Sahara Sand cardstock, our eight and a half by 11 cardstock. We cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter to make our fold on our card. Love, I just can't not. <laughs> Some people can fold their cards really well, increase them. I can't do it. I don't know what my problem is, but I have to score everything. Then, okay, here's another, um, that pretty peacock. Isn't that color? It's beautiful. Love. There's a whole peacock suite, too, in the new catalog that we haven't been able to order yet. Um, <laughs> it's awesome. Like, I'm dying to get that on June 4th. So, and yes, Rosemary, I can send you info on the In Color Club, too. Okay, so this piece of pretty peacock cardstock measures three and three quarter by five inches. 
Okay, and then these are just scraps that I'm using, these two pieces, the white and then that's some um, early espresso. This is our designer series paper with the cursive on the one side and Sandra's chicken wire on the other side, right? So this one measures one and a quarter by four and a half. And then this is just another strip of uh, Sahara sand cardstock that measures three quarters of an inch by four and a half inches. Okay, so we are going to do some stamping and punching. So let's see. Let's do, with my brand new Pretty Peacock ink pad, we are going to stamp our, and I'm going to get some scrap paper here too. Okay, so this is that beautiful floral image. There's just something about this. Hopefully you guys, I it, it was kind of like going back down memory lane, pulling up pictures of projects that I've made with this stamp set um, over the last couple of years. So it was really fun to do that. Sorry, I'm trying to get this lined up so that I, this is so funny, like seriously, I just don't wanna get ink <laughs> on my <laughs> on my grid paper. I mean cheap, ladies. Then I can use the same one again and again if I don't get it all messy. I can't, I don't like to see all that ink all over the place um, when I'm doing the Facebook Lives. So, okay. Can't remember what else I was saying either. So anyway, oh, going down memory lane. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed all those projects. So many cute. It makes me just want to play with this one again too. So, okay, so we've got the, do you guys see, can you guys, can you see the pretty flowers on there? I love, there's just something about that. And then this is not even something that I would generally be drawn to, but I, there's something about it that I have just loved for forever. Okay, let's do our other stamping and then we can do our punching and so on. Okay, so what do I wanna do? Let's use our, this is Daffodil Delight ink. We're gonna use this one first to stamp our moon or sun, whatever you wanna say it is, right? So we're gonna stamp that on there. And you got, there's something about, it's like that weathered look, like it's supposed to not be perfect. I love that, I don't know what it is why I enjoy that so much, but I do. Okay, and then with my pretty peacock, we're gonna make a green rooster. Have you ever seen a green rooster? I was thinking about that later. I'm like, probably, you know what I do need to do? I need to make sure, because this was, um, yeah. It's almost like the way I think he should be standing, he's not standing straight up when I do it. See how that one kind of stamped at an angle? Can you see that? There's, I don't know. That's the clear stamps, right? Where you can't totally see through everything. Um, yeah, I was saying probably should have used terracotta tile maybe, um, but I didn't want to. I wanted to use my favorite new color, Pretty Peacock. Okay, so this is the one and three quarter inch circle punch that is retiring. I've already got some of my prices on things. Bummer, because I love, I love my punches. Okay, so we're gonna pop that guy out. And then we are gonna use the Starburst punch with our, this is just my scrap of early espresso cardstock. So we're gonna pop that baby out there, okay? And I actually put dimensionals behind him. Kind of pop him up separately. I thought that was kind of cool. Normally I always stick that white piece on there and then put dimensionals behind my early espresso piece, but I was changing things up a little bit. Okay, scoot these things out of the way. So let's put our these layers on. We're gonna add adhesive that is right here. Got dimensional backing. If you guys find those, like they stick to everything, don't they? All right, we're gonna do this and this and this. And we are gonna put this piece, and I kind of cheated. I thought it was easier to just set that right there and try to line up. So I want this to be flush against the right hand side. This is more so just for the height, like from top to bottom. There, so that one can go there. And then I just want a little bit peeking out. That one can go right there. Right now we need our strip of, where did I toss that? Ribbon's right here in front of my face. So again, the beautiful pretty peacock ribbon we are gonna put just, and what I've found, this ribbon is a little bit um, sturdy maybe to tie in a bow. I'm going to be curious to see what other people come up with, but I love just even putting a strip of this around my cardstock like this. So I'm just going to lay it right on there. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add a bunch of adhesive right back there because I want to make sure my ribbon 
stays really well. And I always have to flip it back over and do a quick double check to make sure. So I'm gonna press super firmly on there. Okay. Guys, Lily's being really quiet upstairs. I wonder, well, she had to get up earlier. <laughs> you know, all the other kids that had the day off and didn't have to go to the meeting, they all got to sleep in. So maybe she's upstairs taking a nap. You know, those teenagers like their sleep, don't they? Okay, so we are gonna put some adhesive on the back of our uh, Starburst punch, that is. Okay, we're gonna put that right about there. And then I'm gonna peel my dimensionals off the back of this piece and we are gonna pop this one. Make sure he's standing up straight right there. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Do you love that new pretty peacock in color? It's truly gonna be one of my favorites. And then I love the new designer series paper and you are not gonna be able to live without this ribbon. Uh, it is, it's so cool. I, I think I love, because it's the linen too, I really, you know, you're gonna see it paired a lot with this khaki, either the Sahara sand or crumb cake cardstock, but it's gonna be fun um, also to see what people do with that ribbon with other colors, because that's your first, at least my first inclination. So thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you enjoyed that card. So, okay, ladies, let me just do the quick recap, especially for, oh, you know what I forgot? I'm like, hey, there's that stamp. I forgot to stamp my hello friend up there. So let's do that. I'm gonna open this up. I don't like stamping the full card um that back flap so all right i'm just gonna kind of cheat i am gonna make sure cheat not opening that all the way is what i'm talking about and i'm gonna make sure my hello friend is straight up and down and we're gonna stamp that right there and now there now we now we've got it okay so the quick recap just to make sure everybody knows because it's a little bit different this week hey tammy how are you doing you are going to receive, where's my other card? What do I do with it? Oh, it's way over here. Okay. So you are going to receive with your minimum $30 online order. If you place it by next Wednesday, you are going to receive one of each of these cards that I just demonstrated. And it's not even a drawing. Remember, you are going to get a two yard sampler. Every single person that puts in an order, we'll get a two yard sampler of our new in color ribbon. So all five colors, two yards of each of these with your minimum $30 online order. Make sure you use the host code, the UMM7863Q. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you're also gonna get a pack of the new flower faceted gems with your order. So please let me know if you guys have any questions. I would love to uh, you know, get all of this fabulous product sent out to you as my thank you. I do so appreciate. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator already, I'd love to be your demonstrator and help um, you know, share lots of fun projects with you and then get lots of cute um, samples and treats and things sent out to you as my thank you to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great long Memorial weekend and holiday. And we will talk to you soon next Friday, actually. Okay, bye everybody. Have a good weekend.